You can also configure Xerox Instant to communicate with Xerox Launch Kit. Xerox Instant is a BI widget which you can deploy on any website. So if you go to xerox.org slash instant and scroll down, you'll find a code snippet. So I'm going to copy this code. And for the demo, I'm going to paste it into JS Fiddle. Now by default, that's going to use a different relayer. So what I'm going to do is configure it to talk to my local launch kit. So launch kit is running on my local machine on port 3000. Now, since this page is served on HTTPS and launch kit is running on HTTP, you may see some errors about mixed content. The easiest way to fix this is to deploy a load balancer which terminates the SSL connection and forwards it onto LaunchKit. A simple way to do this for demonstration purposes is to use ngrok. So for example, I'm going to run ngrok on port 3000. This has given me a HTTPS forwarding URL. So I'm going to copy that and replace 0, 0.0.0 .0 port 3000 with the ngrok URL. Good, that looks a lot better. Now this by default will communicate with mainnet. As you saw before, we deployed launch kit for the Covan test networker. So we'll change the network setting to Covan, which is 42. Now we can select the token we wish to purchase. I'm going to select CRX. So I would like to buy 10 CRX. That's going to cost me an extremely large amount of ETH. And that is because the order we put into launch kit was very expensive. So let's sell it for a little bit less. So I'm going to sell 100 ZRX for 0 0.001 ETH. So I'll sign that order. Now, Instant will update the prices automatically. So as you can see, that went from 270 ETH down to 27 cents worth of ETH. So I'm going to buy that. So now we wait for the transaction to be mined, which it already has. And I have now received an additional 10 ZRX.